Well, I believe I popped it. I've unbolted everything. I jacked it up and then put some metal underneath it so you weren't hitting on the rubber sort of thing. So it's straight on, you know, metal to metal. I oh, fucking wailed on it. And it came loose. <laughs> so now for the fun bit. Uh, removing the disc with greatest precaution. <laughs> Yay, I got myself a quarter of a ton of disc. The way I move it out from under here, see an old fan belt, loop it around there and pull. Easy as pie. Old fan belts are wonderful. Loop. There we go. Keep that. Now I've got to do is change the brakes over. So these shoes have still got heaps of meat on them. I'll just uh, clean these ones and sand them because you can see they're glazed from having diff oil on them. They'll come up good. The wheel cylinders aren't that old. I'll check them out though, make sure they're not weeping or anything. But this one, the axle seal is leaking pretty bad. So that's one of the reasons I'm changing it. And the other reason I'm changing it, uh, now, how much is it? Yeah, it's got that much backlash in it. That's how sloppy the diff is. So she's booking. Good for a rebuild though. Well, I just pulled the brake, one of the brake shoes off with a new rear end, because I'm going to swap it over with, you know, those ones. That's all well and good. Change that. I got that shoe off and saw some spider eggs. And I was like, ah, oh, guess what's just behind that? Can you guys see that? Yeah, a female red back. I have my fucking fingers in there and stuff. Good thing I wear gloves. But um, they will kill you. If they get bitten by that, they will stop you breathing in a very short amount of time. So, I'm going to kill it first. With some brake cleaner. <coughs> okay, it's unhappy now. That's a big mama too. Let's spray its eggs some more. No, it's gonna crawl around over there and die. Bloody hell. That's a bit close to death for my liking. Oh, I decided to get new brakes. So I have to wait for tomorrow to go get wheel cylinders and shoes. Hopefully I can get them tomorrow. So I've just continued on. And this is how I decided to put it in. Because it's a bit too dangerous trying to lift this up yourself and jack it in. So I put it on a brick and then let the car down on it. There's the jack. It's good to go to toe point. Uh, and I put the centre uh, mount top on. So it hasn't got the centre mount in at the moment. I've got the two chisels holding it there. Which should be plenty. So now I'll jack it back up again, and yeah, it should be technically in. Now I can start putting little bits and pieces on. Oh, so I put the jack under there just to hold it. Um, yeah, so I just do all the brake work and everything while in, which is no problem. That makes me happy. Four of my mates actually laughed at me when I told them I was doing this by myself. Uh, like, oh, how are you going to do that by yourself? I was like, oh, I'll find a way. So, I found a way. Yeah, I like it. Not gas shock, so I just pushed them up. Didn't have to take them off. So, yeah. Well, might stick the tail shaft on tonight. I don't know. I'll have to put the other mount on over there. I'll do the springs tomorrow. And the brakes. This thing should be nice to drive. Yeah, all the lower control arm mounts on the old diff are screwed. These ones are nice and tight. The other ones flop around. That's what I mean by loose. She used to buck a little bit when you hit a bump with the rear axle. And that's probably half the reason why. Uh, 